What's cracking guys, Omar Esau here, back with another video. In this video today, I got the main man himself, Alan Thrall. I think he puts out phenomenal content on the channel, talking about a topic that doesn't get enough love amongst the strength community, and I'd honestly say even the bodybuilding community, and that is conditioning. Some people refer to it as cardio, and sometimes, or I should say a lot of times, individuals will tend to think, unless you need to lose weight, unless you're fat, you don't really need to do cardio. It's boring, it takes effort, you sweat, which is disgusting. Why the hell should you do it if you don't need to lose weight? Well, there are a lot of reasons. I'm going to let Alan talk all about it. Make sure to check out his channel. Link will be in the description. Without further ado, the fellow member of Iron Disciples, take it away. Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to talk about conditioning. Conditioning is important for those of you wanting to lose weight, and even for your meatheads and powerlifters. Conditioning doesn't have to suck. It's still kind of sort of, but not as much. There are a few reasons why you should be conditioning. Reason number one, you get to eat more. Or should I say, you don't have to eat less. For those of you trying to lose some weight, you might find that just maintaining your calorie intake and increasing daily activity is much easier than starving yourself. If you are trying to lose weight, you have to get your diet in check. However, the hard truth is that just cleaning up your diet is only a slice of the pie. If you work a sedentary job and sit for the majority of your days, you will probably look like you sit for the majority of your days. I often use this quote from Pavel. If you sit or lie down for 23 hours a day and stand for only one, even if it's spent working out, which demand do you think your body will more readily adapt to? Get up, get moving, and make up for all of the inactivity in your day. Doing more might allow you to do more. I often hear people make fun of conditioning, what is this CrossFit, but these same people are useless and suck in wind by the time they get to their last couple of sets. <laughs> Bro, I probably could have got a couple more reps, but I was gassed, you feel me? Now I'm not saying that you need to be a marathon runner to complete your training sessions. What I am saying is that if you are severely overweight and out of shape, increasing your overall work capacity is not going to hurt you, it's going to make you better. Reason number three. Conditioning can speed up recovery. I assume that most of you watching this are interested in getting stronger, not increasing your five mile run time. So, your conditioning should not be taking away from your strength training sessions, but rather improving them. This means that your conditioning should be relatively low impact, low intensity, low stress. Heavy weight training is taxing on your body and your nervous system. Your conditioning, especially on an off day, doesn't have to be. Lower impact active recovery that gets your heart rate around 100 to 125 beats per minute, depending on your resting heart rate, for 10 to 30 minutes will be enough to promote blood flow to damaged tissue, boosting your recovery. Reason number four. Now, don't quote me on this, but I've heard that your heart and lungs are pretty important. Here are some ways to seamlessly incorporate conditioning into your routine. If you already have a few exercises lined up for your assistance work, just perform them back to back without resting. Once you have completed each exercise once, take a short break before you begin your next round. Combining your assistance work and your conditioning work is killing two birds with one stone. I'm a huge fan of doing strongman training as conditioning and assistance work. I'll just line up three to four movements and do all of them without resting until I finish one round. I'll perform three to five total rounds. This allows me to get a lot of work done without burning out because I'm working my grip, then my legs, then my back, and so on. Because I'm keeping my mind busy with these movements, I'm not thinking about doing conditioning. Sometimes the hardest part about doing conditioning on a treadmill, stationary bike, or an elliptical is trying to forget that you're doing conditioning on a treadmill, stationary bike, or an elliptical. Unfortunately, not all of you have access to strongman equipment. Like I said earlier, supersetting your assistance work can get the job done. 
The key is to use semi-compound movements that will increase your heart rate. Supersetting easy bar curls and tricep press downs does not constitute a conditioning workout. Sorry. For lower body focused training sessions, I would suggest performing one unilateral movement, one pulling movement, or one grip movement, and one squatting movement. The variations of those three movement patterns is endless. Barbell, dumbbell walking or stationary lunges, barbell rows, dumbbell farmer's walks, power cleans, hang power cleans, goblet squats, squat jumps, front squats, you name it. For upper body focus training sessions, I would suggest a combination of rowing movements and pressing movements. Push-ups, pull-ups, rows, push presses, hang power cleans, dips, etc. For your off days, I would suggest some light sled pushes and possibly some bodyweight movements like bodyweight squats, easy push-ups, maybe even elevated off the ground, kettlebell swings, sled rows, or even very easy 60 to 70% strides at your local high school track. That's it guys, thank you very much for watching and thank you to Omar for having me on your channel. I hope you guys learned something and I hope I encourage you to get off your ass and get moving. Always remember, Dread on time! And that is the video. My thanks to Alan Thrall for doing this video. Make sure to check out his channel, subscribe, link is in the description. And if you want to see another collab between him and I in person, Hashtag Iron Disciples. Leave a comment below saying exactly that. Hashtag Iron Disciples and like this damn video. That's all. I'll be seeing all you guys, my rascals, in that next video.